molar mass and volumetric flow rate. The flow rate of a fluid in a pipe is a process variable that can be specified in mass, molar or volumetric units. That is, in mass per unit time, moles per unit time or volume per unit time. The fluid flowing along a pipe may be either liquid or gaseous. Knowing what phase the fluid is in is very important when the volumetric flow rate is involved, as we shall soon see. In many chemical engineering problems, you will need to convert the flow rate expressed in a particular set of units to another set of units, mass, molar or volumetric. Let's look at a couple of examples. Example 1. Let's imagine that there are 100 moles per second of liquid water flowing along a pipe. We need to express this molar flow rate in mass units as grams per second and also in volumetric units as liters per second. We use the molecular weight of water to convert to mass flow rate. Multiplying the molar flow rate, 100 moles per second, by water's molecular weight, 18 grams per mole, immediately gives us the mass flow rate. Always include units when showing your working. This ensures that the units are consistent and cancel where necessary. In addition, it also serves as a safeguard against calculation errors as it makes it easier to spot mistakes. Now we are required to convert molar flow rate to volumetric flow rate. Before proceeding, we will need to know what phase the water in the pipe is in. In this case, it is in the liquid phase. Thus, we will have to use the density of the liquid to carry out the conversion. The density of a liquid depends only slightly on temperature, and for most practical applications, it is acceptable to take an average value that is independent of temperature. On the other hand, if the calculation demands precision, it will be necessary to use a literature value for the density at the prevailing temperature. And then, we would have to include as many significant figures as specified in the literature. In this particular case, we will use as an average value for the density of liquid water 1 grams per cubic centimetres. Bef performing the calculation as before, i.e. by showing the units of all numerical quantities and also using appropriate conversion factors, we find that 100 moles a second corresponds to 1.8 litres a second of liquid water. Now let's look at another example. Example 2. We now have 150 grams a second of gaseous nitrogen flowing in a pipe. We need to express this mass flow rate in kilomoles a minute and in liters a second. Let's begin by converting the mass flow rate to molar flow rate. To do that we make use as before of the molecular weight in this case of nitrogen gas 28 grams per mole or equivalently 28 kilograms per kilomole. Finally performing the calculation as shown gives us a molar flow rate of 321 kilomoles a minute. Now we calculate the volumetric flow rate. As before, we need to take into account phase. In this example, the phase is gaseous. To do calculations for gaseous streams, we need to make use of the equation of state for the gas. There are several equations of state for gases, but for many applications in chemical engineering, it is acceptable to use the equation of state for ideal gases. If the calculation has to be very precise, then it would be necessary to use another more precise equation of state obtained from the literature. The equation of state for an ideal gas is PV equals NRT and refers to a gas confined to a closed vessel of volume V containing n numbers of moles of the gas at a temperature T and pressure P. However, as it stands, this equation does not apply to flowing systems. Therefore, to calculate volumetric flow rates using this equation, we would need to replace N by the molar flow rate. The units of V and N for a closed system are liters and moles, respectively. In an open system, on the other hand, where mass flows into and out of the vessel, V has to be replaced by the volumetric flow rate measured in liters per second and N by the molar flow rate in moles a second. Only then can the equation of state for ideal gas be used for open systems. Now, when we try to play this equation to our situation, we realize that we also first need to know values for the pressure and temperature before we can calculate the volumetric flow rate. 
In this case, we should go back and carefully read the problem statement again. Let's imagine the problem statement tells us that the fluid pressure is one atmosphere and the fluid temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Finally, when we use the above equation, we obtain for the volumetric flow rate 1.31 times 10 to the 5 liters a second.